so Mark Cuban went on The View yesterday. And um, we know he's a surrogate for the Harris campaign. He's been out there campaigning for Kamala Harris. And he had the cojones. He had the stones to, well, he basically said Trump is never around strong, intelligent women. In fact, I'm going to play the clip for you guys so you guys can hear for yourselves because I'm sure most of you out there probably don't watch The View. I don't know why anybody watches The View. I don't know how The View is still on TV, but here you go. Here's the clip. Donald Trump is not even asking Nikki Haley for her help to try to reach her voters. What do you make of that? And do you think having people like Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, and other Republicans with Kamala Harris is going to put her over the edge with these Nikki Haley supporters? Yeah, I mean, yes, it'll put her over the edge with Nikki Haley supporters. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. It's just that simple. They're intimidating to him. He, does, he doesn't like to, to be challenged by them. And, you know, Nikki Haley will call him on his nonsense with reproductive rights and how he sees and treats and talks about women. I mean, he just can't have her around. It wouldn't work. I think Stormy is intelligent. I don't think that's 100%. She's very smart. Yeah, Stormy. He means... Okay. First of all... I wouldn't want Nikki Haley anywhere around the Trump campaign, Trump administration, nowhere. That's first thing. Second thing, as far as Liz Cheney and crying at Adam Kinsinger. They're both, they're not Republicans. They're not conservative. They're a couple of um, crybabies. That's what they are. They don't like Donald Trump because Donald Trump has differing opinions of them of what the Republican Party should be. Now, as to Mark's Little comment about Trump never surrounds himself with strong, intelligent women. Enjoy Behar. Her little joke about Stormy. Come on, Joy. You can do better than that. Well, no, maybe you can't. So, Ashley St. Clair over on X put out this little thread here. Here's a thread of all the stupid women that Trump surrounds himself with. Oh, look at that. Who's, who's first on the list? Tulsi Gabbard. So, Mark, you're calling Tulsi Gabbard a veteran, former congresswoman. You're saying she's not strong? She's not intelligent? Uh, Miriam Adelson. She's a staunch supporter of Donald Trump. And you sold her the Dallas Mavericks. You sold your basketball team to her. She's not a strong, intelligent woman. Or meet Dylan. She's not strong and intelligent. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Mike Huckabee's daughter. Current governor of Arkansas, daughter of former governor of Arkansas. Alina Haba. Alina Haba has more, more brain cells than you could ever imagine. I'm probably saying this wrong, but oh well. I would pick Alina Haba over you any day, Mark. Margot Martin. Don't forget. Donald's daughter, Ivanka, Kimberly Guilfoyle. How she was ever married to Gavin Newsom, I have no idea. Uh, Laura Trump, Caroline Levitt, 
Lynn Patton. Aaron Elmore. I could just keep going on and on and on and on. Riley Gaines. Carrie Lake. Sage Steele. Danica Patrick. Should I keep going, Mark? He's not intimidated by a strong, intelligent woman. In fact, he welcomes strong, intelligent women. I mean, this is coming from the guy who is looking more and more like Rachel Maddow every day. And, and don't forget, this is, this is just a couple days after the president of the United States went out and called half of America garbage. And of course, uh, Mark had to backpedal after saying one of the dumbest things anybody could say. At least in my opinion, in my mind, in my view. This article here from the New York Post. Billionaire Mark Cuban half-heartedly apologized on Friday for those who felt slighted at him suggesting women around former President Donald Trump are weak and dumb, saying he has no excuses while trying to offer a bunch. So here we go. When I said this during the interview, I didn't get it out exactly the way I thought I did. So I apologize to anyone who felt slighted or upset by my response. As I said, it wasn't about Trump voters, supporters, or employees, current or former. <clears throat> and I set myself up for the six second soundbite. No excuses. Can't nail every interview. My skin is thick enough. No, Mark, your skin is not thick. You're one of the most thin skinned individuals that, that is out there in media. That is out there as a personality. I've seen your tantrums during Mavericks games. Sitting courtside as owner of the team. And you, and, and I, if I remember correctly, you spent a lot of time whining and moaning and complaining about referees, about the, the leadership of the NBA. You're, you're a beta, Mark. That's what you are. You're a beta. During his appearance on the talk show, the Shark Tank co-host had suggested Trump doesn't surround himself with smart women, in part because he is threatened by them. I already went over that. Cuban on Friday bemoaned the criticism leveled against him. What, bother what bothers me, though, is that so many of the comments or media in support of or against me have some level of insult attached to it. Not just here, but everywhere. Well, Mark, what do you expect? Of course, there's going to be some sort of insult attached to it. I'm not blaming anyone. We are where we are, he continued. Here is hoping that changes at least a little bit in a week. In the spirit of joy, I have to add that all of the AI memes of me with the, with the long hair cracked me up. So there is a positive. So in the spirit of joy. Oh yeah, that's right. Kamala Harris's campaign was supposed to be the campaign of joy. Joy through strength. Meanwhile, GOP women were quick to weigh in on Cuban's bumbling remarks. This is so profoundly offensive. I work for Donald Trump. I consider myself a strong woman. I consider those around me strong women. Kellyanne Conway, Brooke Rollins, Ivanka Trump, Hope Hicks, Sarah Sanders, Kaylee McEnany, Trump's former White House press secretary said. That's before we get to the women Donald Trump elevated to very high levels. Like Nikki Haley, who still supports him. Like Amy, Co Amy Co Coney Barrett, we put on the Supreme Court. McEnany, the co-host of Fox, is outnumbered at it. So, 
What do you guys think about this? What do you think about Mark Cuban's comments? I mean, personally, I think he's a clown who just happened to luck into um, a business deal in the early 2000s when he was when he sold broadcast.com to Yahoo when Yahoo was flush with cash. So the only thing he's ever done, at least in my opinion, in his lifetime is got lucky on one business deal. Because what was he, what has he done since with me? Uh, 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 um, well, I'll just say it a bitchy little girl. Who, by the way, before Trump decided to run for president in 2015, Mark Cuban had nice things to say about Donald Trump, like so many others. So there you go. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. I think this, I think this, this is just another, another one in a long line of people that A, um, have really done themselves a disservice in my opinion. And again, one of a long line of people and B just can't help the fact that, uh, at least in Mark Cuban's case, he can't help. He can't, he can't get over the fact that Donald Trump is more famous than him, has more money than him, has more power than him. And he's just suffering from a severe case of TDS. So again, comment down below, hit that thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.